This video shows you how to publish an ebook through Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing, or KDP for short. You start with a regular Word file, like the one you see here. This particular file contains a short story of about 1500 words. You can start with a project as small as this to learn the ropes, before launching into your major project. The text has to be formatted according to guidelines that you will find on the KDP help menu. For instance, you separate chapters or sections of a Kindle ebook with page breaks, which you can see here because all the hidden characters are showing, like page breaks and paragraph marks. Before the main text, it's a good idea to include an imprint page with publication and copyright details. And before this, you might want to include a title page. This title page has no regular text, like the story itself. It's a single JPEG image file that is prepared in a graphics design program, then inserted onto the first page. Likewise, you can insert other images at any point in your Microsoft Word file. So that's the easiest text file option for uploading to KDP, a Word document. You also need a cover image. This one has been prepared by a designer and has been saved as a JPEG file. You can use other image formats, but the JPEG format keeps things simple. Although many writers could accurately format the text file of an ebook in Word by following the KDP guidelines, I highly recommend a professional designer prepares your cover file. A good first impression will entice readers to sample your writing and give it a better chance against the millions of other ebooks available. In summary, you need two files to publish an ebook a file with the text, here it's a Word file, and a file of the cover, here it's a JPEG file. Then open your preferred internet browser, choose your preferred search engine, then type in KDP. Click on the resulting link to Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing. From KDP's homepage, you can log in using your existing Amazon password. Or if you're not an Amazon customer, you only need an email address and to make up a password to open an account. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken directly to a screen that is called the bookshelf. Here, you'll see I've already uploaded the story we've been looking at, Skanky Locks and the Three Bogans. But I'm going to republish this little ebook with one significant change and walk you through the three stages required to publish an ebook on the KDP system. The first stage requires information about your ebook, sometimes called the metadata. Most of the fields are easy to work out. First, choose the language your book is written in. Next, insert your title. Insert a subtitle if you have one. If you don't, leave the field blank. If the book is part of a series, you can enter that info or leave blank. Enter which edition number this is, for instance, first, second, third, or leave blank. Then add the author name. If more than one author has written the ebook, you can add each name in the contributor section. You can also add the names of other contributors, like an illustrator. Next, add a description of the ebook, which is the equivalent of a print book's back cover blurb. But with an ebook, this description will appear next to the listing of your ebook on Amazon. Next, you declare if you have the necessary publishing rights to publish this ebook. If you are the sole author, then these rights are automatically yours. If there are other contributors, then I recommend you make an earlier written agreement about who is going to click this button. The only other option to click is if you are republishing an ebook that is out of copyright, that is, in the public domain. For many countries, this means the author must have been dead for at least 70 years. It is very important to add keywords to help readers find your ebook when doing a search. Put in words or terms other than just repeating the title and author. Use the Set Categories button to select two categories your ebook might fit within, like fiction or humour. This will help readers search for your ebook. If you want, you can suggest age and grade ranges, that is years of schooling, but these are optional. For example, grade three means three years of schooling. The pre-order option follows if you want to allow readers to order your ebook before it is released. It doesn't apply here because I'm republishing this ebook. Then you can either save this page as a draft or click save and continue to progress to the second stage. The second stage is where we upload the text file and the cover file, but first you must decide whether to apply Digital Rights Management, or DRM, to your ebook. DRM adds a security code to your ebook to prevent the buyer making further copies of your ebook. The idea is to reduce piracy, but some authors argue that not using DRM on ebooks will boost their overall sales. You decide.
Next, you upload your pre-formatted Microsoft Word file. The system even does a spell check. Next, you upload your cover file. I don't recommend using KDP's Cover Creator. Upload a cover you already have, preferably created by a professional book cover designer. The Kindle eBook Previewer allows you to preview your eBook before it's published. I'm going to click the first option. Knowing on my system, it will send me into an endless loop. If this happens to you, then try the other preview options listed below. If none work, you can still publish anyway. An ISBN is an international standard book number of 13 digits that identifies your ebook. You can use one if you have one, but I don't use an ISBN on my Kindle ebooks because Amazon provides its own ID number. But I will use an ISBN when publishing beyond Amazon, say on Smashwords or Google Play. Next, you can put in the name of your publishing business or leave blank. Then click Save and Continue to progress to the third and final stage. At the top of this final page, you need to decide whether or not to opt into a marketing ploy called KDP Select. I stress this as an option because although I'm going to use it here, one of the conditions of using KDP Select is that your ebook cannot be with any other ebook retailer for 90 days. This denies you the opportunity for sales on other platforms like Apple or Barnes and Noble or Kobo for 90 days. But the main benefit of using KDP Select is to be able to offer your ebook for free on five days that you select out of those 90 days. This can be a useful marketing tool because the five free days can be great to build promotions around to help introduce your ebook to readers. If they like what they read and recommend it to friends, then you might get sales beyond the free days. Next, you can choose to publish worldwide or select specific territories where you want to publish. Finally, the all-important pricing and royalty options. The basic royalty option is for the author to get 35% from each sale. But you can get the 70% royalty option if you price your ebook between US $2.99 and $9.99. In other territories, this will differ slightly. For example, in Australia, the price range is $3.99 to $11.99. If you click the option to base all marketplaces on the US price, then you'll see the prices come up in the various Amazon stores around the world in the applicable currency. Or you can set the price in each store individually. If you have a paperback version of your ebook, you can opt into the Kindle Matchbook program. If you choose to allow Kindle book lending, then this might lead to a few extra royalties, but not usually much. Once you've read and accepted Kindle's terms and conditions, then you can click the button to publish your ebook. This usually takes five or six hours, but sometimes longer. If you decided to opt into KDP Select, then you have a cooling off period of about three days in which you can change your mind. But there is a trap for new players in using KDP Select. It defaults to auto renew. So those 90 days will become 180 days unless you turn off Auto Renew. Fortunately, turning off Auto Renew isn't hard. The trick is knowing about it. From the listing of your ebook on the bookshelf, go towards the right and click on the three dots at the end of the listing. Among the options that come up, click on KDP Select Info. From here, uncheck the box that says Automatically Renew This Book's Enrollment in KDP Select for another 90 days. Then save. Note that in the bottom left of the dialog box it says your enrolment options were updated successfully. Then click the cross at the top right of the dialog box to exit. This avoids the worry of undoing what you've just done by clicking cancel. From the KDP Select page, you can nominate your specific free days. It's under the heading Run a Price Promotion and is easy enough to follow. You can return to the bookshelf and when you're ready, sign out. And there you have it, an ebook published in all Amazon stores around the world. I hope this video demystified the process for you.